closing up in fourth. Mach 3 is eased away. In fifth, Brad's Gold. Six to the inside. That's third straight taken in from seventh. So lucky is held out wide. A little unlucky out around the pan, the myth. And Sagebrush drove on through. BJ Tsunami has surrendered the lead into the first turn to Western Maverick Royal Majesty. Still out and driving. Royal Majesty crossing over after a quarter of 26 and 3. Taking over from Western Maverick. Already pulling on them as three olives. Three olives up and driving. Shuffle back to fourth. Along the inside, BJ Tsunami. Mach 3 is up on the move and going on aggressively. Second over. Sixth and tipping to the outside goes Brad's Gold. And third straight sits at the inside from seventh. Third from last, Sagebrush. Then the pan, the myth. And trailing so lucky on the way to the half. Mach 3 taking over from three olives. 56 seconds was the half. Mach 3 and Waples have hit the front. Three olives surrender. Sits along in second. Royal Majesty has got a spot along the inside third. Coming first over now is Brad's Gold for LaChance into the last three-eighths of the mile, and Western Maverick is on the inside from fifth. Third straight is sixth on the outside. BJ Tsunami, the first leader, has taken a big shuffle back to seventh. Sagebrush at his flank. So lucky is ninth on the inside, and the pan, the myth, was tenth. They turn for home, chasing Mach 3. Three olives in the pocket. Brad's Gold came first over, and they're off three-quarters of 125 and 1 down the lane in the first 2001 Breeders' Crown Elimination. Mach 3, an eighth of a mile away from second over. Third straight is shown clear track. Three olives along the inside. It's down to Mach 3 and third straight down the middle. Mach 3 is digging in. Mach 3 wins the first Breeders' Crown Elimination from third straight. Three olives. Royal Majesty. It was close for fifth. BJ Tsunami against Sagebrush. Mach 3 in an outstanding 152 and 4. Number two, Mach 3, returns as the fifth race winner in the first 2001 Breeders' Crown elimination of the two-year-old Colt and Gelding Pace. Matt Scooter, two-year-old Bay Colt, from All Included, owned by Linda Madgett of Cambridge, Ontario, trained by Sean Robinson, driven to victory by Randall Waples. Seven wins in eight starts this year. Mach 3 returns to the venue of his Metro Stakes Championship, to win his crown elimination in 152 and 4. You uh, came right out and told me this horse is an awesome horse. You're absolutely right. Yeah, he really is. Uh, you know, Team Robinson, they've had an unbelievable year this year. they got three really nice colts, and uh, there's no doubt that this one's a standout in his division this year. You know, he's done everything. He's, he's answered every call, and he's done it with a win. And very handy, you know, well-trained. He's just a great horse. Top of the stretch, Randy, you're on top. Mike's up on the outside. Three olives and Dale Heitman locked in behind you. Did you, did you know that was a situation? Yeah, that was a situation that was good, you know. I mean, I wanted to stay close, as close as I could to three olives, you know. I mean, it, it was a little bit worrisome at the half, you know, because all of a sudden now he was on my back instead of me being on his back. But, uh, you know, when Mike come with, uh, with the other horse, I knew he could last out there long enough that I could get a good breather. It worked out real well. We didn't have to speed the third quarter. And, uh, you know, I got a lot of respect for three olives. Uh, you know, Dale does a great job with him. He always has him sharp and good for the finals. And, uh, you know, like I said, I just uh, I wanted to keep him in there as long as I possibly could. But Daniel, he was coming pretty hard with one on the outside, so I kind of had to start him up. But he was very, very well in hand. He told the owner, Linda Madgett, uh, he never does anything wrong, Randy. What a great horse. He is. He's just a really, really super nice horse, you know. I mean, there's nobody in the world that deserves this horse more than Linda Madgett because she's a super nice person. So, I mean, they, they compliment one another. Now, you looking forward to next week, Randy? <laughs> oh, yeah. I just, I'm just glad to be here this year. After last year, breaking my shoulder and not getting to compete, you know, I'm just, I'm just glad to be here. Okay, Randall Waples uh, gets the job done on Mach 3, a real impressive win. He's now won 7 of 8 this year, never been worse than second. Congratulations, Randall. Always a pleasure, Ken. Rundown now for the fifth.